Hi, I'm Bernie Tomlinson. I'm a senior youth work manager. I work for Soft Integrated Youth Support Services and I'm the project manager. Uh, and I'm Rob Fulton. I'm an area youth work manager and I've been coordinating the outdoor adventure project here in Salford Meadows. Uh, so what's going on here today? We've got loads of activities for young people, basically for people that age from 11 upwards and we've been having a camp over for three days so that people can try new experiences about doing outdoor adventure in an urban environment. We're only five minutes away from the main road in Salford but this is like the countryside in, Sol in, in the heart of Salford. Um, we've been doing bushcraft so people have been learning how to um, make fires through sparks, making people aware about the safety of fires, not just burning things for the sake about it, but respecting the environment and learning new skills. We've got the, um, the army have been doing adventure assault courses, so getting people fit and healthy. There's been team building games, so people have been able to work together. There's arts and crafts, people can have a go and be creative and again, taking things over to, to show the family and the friends what they've been making and just generally having a laugh. And uh, would you say it's been a successful? How many how many kids have you had here over the three, last three days? Well, we set we set off intending to try and have approximately 40 a day, um, so it took us up to 120 for the three days, and we're up to 160. So we'd say that that was a good success, definitely. And, and is this this the first of its kind? This is what we called a pilot project, with a view to building on this for the summer to make it bigger and better, potentially with the opportunity for young people to actually camp out overnight as well over the summer, if we can get that additional support from our partners and indeed the funding to go along with that. One of the, the big features about this camp is that we've been training young volunteers, so they've had an experience to learn about health and safety, about protection issues and about how to organise an event, so they're getting real training and there's people that are not in education or employment that have been coming to do a real hands-on course and then helping out for three days, getting real, real youth work experience that can be used for outdoor um, event organisation and maybe for, for volunteering on the Olympics or different activities that are going to be coming on over summer. Yeah, and building on that is they, they will be achieving a nationally recognised accreditation for that. They'll, they'll end up with an AQA in events management. So you've got two levels of success then, haven't you? You've got a success Absolutely. for the, young, the youngsters who uh, are actually using the service and then yes. there's a success for the youngsters who are... Um, volunteering. volunteering. I think a third to that as well, really, would be the... You know, the partnership working and all the partners that have supported this project, the youth workers that have not only been here and given us their time every day, but the workers that have met and come with the groups, you know, mithering the kids to get out of bed early in the morning, it's Easter holidays, and that, that doesn't go unnoticed as well. OK, it's part of the success as well, it's been like the, the shoestring budget that we've managed to do it on. We've provided, obviously, a variety of activities, low cost, no cost. When we worked it out, the costings, it had averaged out about £9.30 per young person. And that comes for a whole day's worth of activities, transport and food. So for an Easter holiday activity, we thought that was good value for money. The partners, again, what they've put into this, have supported it, so it's been match funded, not only by funding, but by that hands-on work. Um, like Rob said earlier, it's smack bang in the city of Salford. It's about bringing urban adventure to the doorstep and making adventure accessible to kids that might otherwise be home on the PlayStation.